welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. This is Nick Schmidt, Sunshine State RV. Gainesville, what's... Florida. <laughs> yes, what's up, Nick? Nothing, how are you? Good, good. So, once again, we are talking about the Ocala RV show, up and coming. Details you know, I don't know. Yes, Ocala RV but... <laughs> show is our Super Bowl. This is the time that we get to bring every Class B we have to one spot other than our dealership. Somehow there's this big intrigue about looking at RVs at a non-dealership. But right. we get to bring all of our vans from our dealership that has nice bathrooms and waiting rooms and all that and right. bring them to a field. Then everybody You're gets excited. Better. You're not better. <laughs> Everyone gets excited to go to this field to look at vans. Anyways. Because well, it's a big party, man. It will be a big yeah. party. We will have 50 vans there. We will have Hank Strange there. All right, folks, let me tell you about an absolute game changer for those of us living the van life or embarking on overlanding adventures. Today's sponsor, Liquefied, has come up with the ultimate solution for RV tank troubles. You know, there's nothing worse than stubborn tank buildup when you're out on the road, right? Well, Liquefied RV Tank Cleaner is here to help make those worries a thing of the past. This enzyme-based solution does exactly what its name suggests. It liquefies solid waste and toilet paper, making the dumping process smooth, clean, and easy. And the best part, it's environmentally friendly and 100% biodegradable. So you can maintain your RV without harming Mother Nature. You can snag this must-have product on Amazon today. Just click on the link in this video's description. Trust me, your RV tank and your peace of mind will thank you. Make every journey a clean and fresh one with Liquefied. Yes. You know what else we're going to have? What? We're going to have a hilt. Oh, a hilt. We are going to have uh. the first ever hilt to come off the production line in Ocala, February right. 29th mm -hmm. to March 3rd. That's Thursday, Friday, February 29th. Doesn't that feel weird to say? Yeah, man, time's going too fast. Well, February 29th, there's not usually 29 days in Oh, February. that's right, are we in a leap year? We're, obviously, oh, if it's February 29th. I don't know. Oh my God, you didn't know geography in the last video. Not, not you me, know the year, you, the days. you didn't know. So February 29th to yes. March 3rd, Thursday, uh -huh. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right. we'll be in Ocala. Yeah. You're playing with the camera too much for me right now. We'll be in Ocala for the Ocala RV show. Right. We'll have almost 50 Class B vans in one spot. Stuff no one's ever seen before. Yeah. Brand new stuff from Coachman. Mm -hmm. Brand new stuff from Road Trek. Yep. Brand new stuff from Storyteller. All the no things you carry. You're actually going to have at the show. Every single thing. And for the first time, because the last time we did this at Tampa, you didn't have Storyteller Correct. at Tampa. But now Storyteller is going to be there they with will. you. Isn't that exciting? And yeah, it is cool. And you're going to have like pretty much the whole line. So Storyteller is a real cool, yeah. real cool kind of business model, right? Mm -hmm. They are only right now building on the 144 Sprinter chassis. Right. They're based in Birmingham, Alabama. Right. I hear Nick Saban's one of their investors. I'm not the biggest <laughs> fan. You know, I'm a Gator oh, fan. Oh, My man. son is going to play football for the Florida Gators next year. Right. He's going to be a wide receiver. Awesome. Huge deal. Awesome um, young man. We don't. And thankfully for him, better looking than you. Way better looking, full head of hair. Yeah. We don't like Alabama too much, but we will make an exception. Birmingham, Alabama is the birthplace for Storyteller Overland right. vans. And as in the name, these are Overland vehicles. Because you know, I always ask you, who are these for, right? Because for these are 144s. They are 144s, yeah. and they're very unique. They have some things that only Storyteller has. They have a real unique business model. So mm -hmm. they make three models. They make a Beast Mode, which is their top of the line Mac Daddy Beast Mode. Yeah. Then they make like a Mystic, which is their middle of the line. Then they yep. make their Classic, Classic. which this is the, what they call the OG model. This right. is a replica of the very first one they ever built back in 2019. This is the replica of it. They only made 17 of these this year, and this is one of those 17. Everything they do is very limited production, and what's really cool about it is that they all have the exact same floor plan. Mm -hmm. It's just the difference between the Beast and the Classic is about $50,000 yeah. and all of the upgrades. Yeah. So they have see-through pricing. They yeah. have the same pricing at every dealership, everywhere you go in the it's whole, right on there, in the right? whole United States. Show, we can show it, it is, right now. We never talk pricing. This is nationwide sales price, see-through pricing. This is it, yeah. $232,000. Not a penny less, not a penny more. This is the deal. So if you go to La Mesa, if you go to Campers Inn, you go where whoever sells mm -hmm. Storyteller, they have to sell That's it for the, the same price. That's it. So I guess this comes down to like, you know, who, who, do, you deal with? who do you want to buy it from? <laughs> who, has, who has the best service in the world? We haven't so got far a as I know, Sunshine State RV. We haven't had a negative Google <laughs> review in two years. Yeah. Two but, years. But here's the important question. Who has the most handsome YouTuber? 
I mean, in the world. Thank you, Hank. Thank you. Never, no, I'm not talking oh. about you. I'm talking about me. <laughs> Is that the deal? <laughs> yes, that's the deal. <laughs> so we offer free delivery anywhere yeah, in the country. Right, right, right. Same price. Mm-hmm. We don't have any dealer fees. Same right. price. Yeah. We give guaranteed service appointments in five days. Tech mm-hmm. support over the mm-hmm. phone. Give you a walkthrough. Put right. you up at a campground. Yep. Everything is being offered for the same price on everywhere, everywhere in the United States. So let's break down some stuff for folks who don't know about Storyteller, right? Yes. If, if you want to get an Overlander, you want to get it uh, sooner than later. Correct. These are, you know, you can get these relatively, that's relative, Yeah. sooner than later. And they could be fully equipped. So like beast mode, let's go on this side. So what's just cool? To show, like this has everything, right? And there's some stuff that comes standard because I noticed they all have roof racks. They right. all have uh, the side ladder. They do. Um, this they all is, have the wheels. This is their limited edition as well. They only made 20 of these. Yeah, nice, this is our second nice one. The guy. first one we had, we sold in a day. Okay. Well, I mean, we sold instantly. This is the yeah, second one like Second one we got. And this is the Startsky and Hutch, ed- Hutch edition. Yes. The red and white. They have Smokey and the Bandit edition. Yep. They have some really cool features. But what's cool about these is they upgrade the rims. The mm-hmm. Beast only comes with that. They upgrade the suspension. They upgrade the bumper. Yeah, you get a front they bumper. They add these KC yeah. lights everywhere. They do yeah. a walkable, a walkable roof. They do this really nice and owl ladder. And everyone gets a walkable roof. Everybody does. Yeah. Really right. nice step side. Yeah. And then in the back, as, as you're walking through, they have their spare tire. Yep. They have the invader racks. Yep. And then they have the invader rack on this side with the big owl box. Yes, very you nice. You look over at the classic. You're not gonna. You're not gonna have that. Yes. This is where they're saving money. This yeah. is where they're giving you. They have a smaller ladder. They have a different step. They don't have all the KC lights all the way around it. Mm-hmm. This has a 7KW lithium battery pack by Lithionics. This has a 16KW oh, Lithionics lithium pack. What's unique? 2024, this year, mm-hmm. these models are the first ones to have Lithionics. The old ones all had Volta. They went away from that system. I wonder okay. why. I think I think Lithionics is better. <laughs> That's why. I like Lithionics and Battleborn, as you yes. know. <laughs> yes, Lithionics is the, one of the best lithium yeah. companies that I've ever dealt with. Right. So they have a full Lithionics system. What else is new? They have the new all-wheel drive Mercedes, Mercedes Sprinter. They yeah. have the new four-cylinder. Yeah. They've also upgraded some of their plug. They've upgraded different yeah. things in the van for the 2024. Yeah. So there was a huge difference. Yeah. But and you know, being all-wheel drive on a 144 is very easy. I love driving these. Oh, you. Yeah. I mean, you've driven these quite a bit. I have yeah. too. These yeah. drive like so. My wife's SUV. You know, we mm-hmm. have four kids. 19 years old. 17. Right. 15, who just started driving, by the way. Right. <laughs> and 13. I had to let her drive yesterday. Oh, boy. I asked the cashier, I said... How many extra hairs did you use? <laughs> I asked the cashier, we were walking out, she was all excited. I said, ma'am, do you believe in God? And the cashier looked at me, she was, yeah. I said, please pray that my daughter does not kill me while we... And my daughter is so embarrassed. But she was all excited to Good. drive. If you embarrass your kids, you're doing your job as a dad. That was a true uh, statement. So now let me, let's go so, in here. There's some uh, extra stuff back here that was uh, over there before we go over there, right? Yes. So you don't get these bags. You right. do not. You do not get the bags on the inside, yeah. the bags on the thing. There's yeah. also bags on the passenger on the seat, seat. Yeah, and the driver's seat, which is cool. Everyone gets, this is your cassette toilet. This is a cassette toilet based vehicle. It's the, not a black so, tank, which some people don't like. Correct. But if you're overlanding, you're going to find that's probably the better thing for you. Yes. To, to because this. And when you're, I, I like a black tank, but. When you're in, you're in the middle of a court site or you're yeah. in the middle of the Moab, you you're can't not find have a place to dump. A place to dump. No. And so, I've, I've been told it's illegal to dig a hole, dump your waste, and cover the hole. I've been told that's illegal. Yeah, you just need to find a toilet. And anywhere you go, you f- you know those, have you ever been to those real outdoor toilets? There's just a big hole going in the ground? No. Yeah, that's where you need to go. No, Let's just show uh, the, the seat up here. I want to show that. This so is their even, patented. Yeah. This is their seat that they do. It is called the Groovy, right? Is that right? Uh, Groove the, Lounge. The, the Groove Lounge here, yes. Groove Lounge. This Many is also different. theirs. So they do their own um, multiplex system there. Look at that. So the Van Torino, they call this, number 7 of 25. Oh, there so we go, yeah. Van Torino. You know why that is, the Torino? No, I have no idea. Because the car in Star, Starsky, you're, you're not from the 70s. I'm like not. Me. I was born in 80. Right. <laughs> the car from Starsky and Hutch is a Grand Torino. Ah. Yeah, so that's why. This is the Van Torino. That's where it comes from, yeah. And I think there's there a movie go. called Grand Torino or something. There is. Like I didn't know what it meant. Yeah. So what's cool about this mm-hmm. is 
if you did take one of your kids, which I wouldn't take one of my kids, but if you did, oh, I, I was wondering why I told, started talking about my kids. My wife's SUV is the same length as this. As this. Oh, we have four kids, the biggest SUV, this is 19 feet. Right. My wife's SUV is 18 feet, three yeah. inches. So, so same let's, size. Let's, so uh, when do you, you want to show this in the classic or show it here? Well, let's go to the classic. We've seen this one before. We have. And people could come to the show and see it, but we have not shown the classic. True. Look at this. So, so this step's a little different as well. So question okay. for you as we're walking in the right. classic. Okay. Um, so this is 232,000. Right, right. The OG, the classic is 181,000. 181, and we can show you so the my, sticker right here. My quick math is $50,000. Right, 50,000. Uh, US dollar. And there'll be some advertising for Hank Strange right here, Nick. Why is that? You still get a nice, beautiful shirt right oh, here. Geez. Don't forget that. When you buy something from Sunshine State RV, just, make Nick buy you, you haven't given me a bad assort. It's go online. Do I will you get say 50 cents for everyone you sell. <laughs> oh, um, I, get, I get a couple of bucks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so you so, ask me a question. So, go the question yeah. 232,000 for the Beast, 181,000 for the OG, the classic. You get the same Sprinter, half the lithium, none of the upgrades. Let's say you had a budget to buy a van of $232,000. Right. Would you buy one that was done with all the stuff so the, way, get this, the way Storyteller wants it, right, this one, right. or would you buy this for this 180 one. and take the 50 grand and make it the way you wanted it versus right. the way Storyteller wants it? So here's my answer. Like, There's no wrong answer. No, I don't think there is. I think it depends on the person. I am more inclined to, to get everything on it. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, uh, you have to install that. Not right. you personally, yeah, but, my, but probably oh, Matt yeah. or someone else on your right. team, right. you know? So I'm not big into installing stuff. Okay. So I would probably go for that, except there are some things I don't need. But you're buying so, it anyways. Yeah, so I'm gonna wind up buying it with that. So you like, might I'm get gonna get the bumper then. and stuff like that I don't need, you so know? So you might so. get the Mystic, the one in the middle, that's like, I don't know, 200,000. Yeah. And get kind of, that gives yeah. you half of everything. Yeah, and if the folks out there, if you're if you're not new to overlanding, you know what you want and all that, it's probably better to get this and put in what you want what and not have to I do it that I was just at the Peace Love and Vans rally yeah. in Dade City last week, mm -hmm. and I saw some of these, and I walked out and I was like, man, that's nice. Is that a beast? Mm -hmm. They said, no, it's a classic, and yeah. I did all the stuff I wanted to do to it the way I wanted it done. Exactly. Yeah. So that's a great idea. Yeah. The one next to it, look, just the same. I said, oh, that's cool. Is that a beast? Said, yep, this is a beast. And I still added stuff to my beast. Right. So everybody <laughs> kind of overlands differently. Yeah, and some people take off stuff. When you're dealing with a traditional class B, yeah. obviously we have we have a ton. A of, you know, yeah. Coachman, Road Trek, Chinooks, yeah. everything you can think of. This Dynamax, is just some of it, what's in the inventory. Oh, I, we have over 100 vans here in yeah. Gainesville right now. Mm -hmm. But what's cool is, you know, they they come one way, and, and you can do some upgrades. Overland, you can go in, you can go nuts doing yeah. all these upgrades all day, every day. You can add. I mean, this has the 16-inch wheels. The other yeah. one has the 17-inch wheels. Yeah. I mean, you know, some of these go. Like people complain when we talk about price, and they're like, "You guys are talking about a lot of money." Yeah. But these these vans right here, if you guys don't know, could be three hundred and fifty thousand, four hundred thousand. I've seen one, Nick. I've I have a short of this. That is seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Sprinter van. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's Even crazy. you were like, "Why? Wow. <laughs> Why?" Yeah, I don't know about so, that. So let's take a look at the Groove Lounge chair that you were promising the folks. So I'm gonna I turn the power on here and we yeah. cover it so it doesn't keep you up at night. I like they the, got their uh, little the monitor, branding. Like the mirror over there. So then we hit lights right yep. here. This yep. is all the same. Yep. Dimmer. Turn. We can brighten them up, brighten turn them down. Yeah. So very cool. cool yeah. So. As you can tell, same floor plan. This mm -hmm. has a different nameplate, the Retro OG Mode. So when they built these <laughs> in 2019, this is number 10 of 17. When they uh -huh. built these in 2019, this was the only color they could yeah. get, this selenite gray. Yeah. Mercedes didn't give any other colors. So that's why they made this as kind of a, a tribute to their roots, which is yes. very cool. Yes. So this is their Groove Lounge. This is yep. one of the things that put them on the map, that kind of made them. This has a whole bunch of different ways you could do this. Uh, I think there's just one way, but uh, there's actually a couple. There's just one. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. There. There. Oh, oh the box. Yep. So you see, you could leave it just like this if you wanted to. Or and do what with it? You That's could do the whole thing. You could go all the way down like that, but you could also go up. I have a video. You guys can go check out the video. So this is a groove lounge. Yes. So it's six feet yep. long. Uh huh. And you can sleep on it just like this. There you go. Yeah. 
This is very cool. This is very cool, nice. Cool, right? Yeah. We've seen this in some other things that are coming in now, but this is a nice thing to have here because it is a little bit more modular. Yeah. And, and then you also still have a bed and everything back here. You do. So this yeah. really could sleep three people. Yeah. Which is neat because when you drop this thing here down, yep. you have to put the leg down or it falls like this. There you go. And then here, yeah. I'll show you. Oh, same thing. And you could go half like you're doing right now if you, you want, if go you've half. got a bicycle or motorcycle. Or something in here. That's the good thing with this, you know. There so you now, go. so two people can sleep here. Yes, you've got is, bump out, so you got more this room. This is six feet long, wide. Yep. Like this bump goes out down here, that bump way, out there. Push it down. it yeah. is six feet with the bump out, so mm -hmm. you can have two people sleep there. You can put a kid up there. Yeah. Yeah. And the bathroom is also here. You want to show that? Yes. So you know <laughs> they they have their whole theory on the bathroom, which yes. you know I don't agree. With, I don't disagree with. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it is their theory yep. that. Uh, that you use the bathroom the, the least, least amount in your, I gotta figure out how to do that. I go. think that depends on the person as you know. It does, 100%. Yeah. Some um, of us use our bathrooms a lot, like yours truly. Yes, why do you use the bathroom so much? Uh, I have Crohn's. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I've had Crohn's, I know that, Crohn's since I was uh, like about 25. So for you, the bathroom is extremely important. Yes, yes. So, you know. I could get away without it, but you know, a lot of times like searching for a bathroom and you're kind of like in pain and stuff. I've had uh, stomach surgery, all that. It gets yeah. in the way. Yeah. But I also realize why there are a lot of people that find bathrooms in other places. So, so. so right. So, I mean, the bathroom takes up 30%, 20% 20 of your van. Yeah. And you just, most people just don't use it that much. Yeah. So they just kind of did away with it. They yep. gave you a cassette toilet. Yep. And then here they gave you a separate shower which is pretty unique. So, so you see, this can come back up like this, believe it or not. You know what, this goes here. There's a little yeah. safe in there. Yep. There you go. Push down. Push right. down. Look at this, look, that's a mode. You can sit some people here and some people there. How do, where do you put your feet if you sit there? Are you sit Indian style? Well, I don't know. I'm just messing with you, but I'm also not. There you go. I'm just amazed when you can do these things without losing any limbs. <laughs> so this is their halo showers. This is also what they say is patented. This is something that only only storytellers are allowed to have. So this yeah. folds out here, folds yep. out there. Yep. It opens up like this. And then plus this is your base oh, right yeah, here. Your base flips this over. Thing the last time we did this video, I was editing it and showing Lola. I was looking at Nick knowing how to put a thing together. Look at that. Look at this. What, did, someone taught you this. Someone teaches me everything. <laughs> I'm a lifelong learner. Yeah, Hank. once someone teaches you something, you do not forget. I'll I'm a lifelong learner. That. But this so, is so you do have a kind cool, of shower. right? Yeah. You have a shower when you yeah. need it, and when yeah. you don't need it, yeah. it takes ten seconds. Yeah. And you roll. This is where I roll my sheets, and it drives my wife insane. But she likes to roll sheets nice and neat and flat. Mm -hmm. No, this and, is good. And I just ball there you them, go. Boom. them in there. Easy, easy, easy. In there. And if you don't need all of that, you can uh, put your toilet in here and use it. Or if you're not using the toilet, that can come down. You can have whatever you want on, yeah. on this, right? And, and look, it's gone. Yeah. You don't yeah. need it. So it's not for everyone, it but is I not. Think it works for the folks who need something smaller like this. Correct. More maneuverable, easier to drive. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. I, and I think they do a great job with their lifestyle videos. They yeah. do a great job with their whole, the culture that they're building around mm -hmm. it. Um, I love the integrity of the see-through pricing where everyone sells them for the exact same. Mm -hmm. I like that they're made there in Alabama. It's just kind of a different yeah. mold. You know, yeah. it's not it's not your everyday RV, which which I think is great. Yeah. And it truly is made for overlanding. It's not made to camp in a campground all the time. Yeah. It's not I, made to do certain things. You know? I think the storyteller folks are doing a good job. I do. In this I space agree. that everyone is kind of like, you know how that goes now, right? Like everyone's jumping into whatever's popular. Right. I feel like the storyteller guys are put have put a lot of research and, and all that into this and development, etc. So it's it's good. And it's good that the price is set. It just makes life easier for yeah. everybody. It truly does. Yeah, you know, it does. The worst is sitting there trying to negotiate right. and you know, people mm -hmm. I always feel I mean like I I've been doing this so long that it doesn't offend me, but it mm -hmm. offends people when you're back right. and forth and yeah. you know it's it's just yeah. it, it's just not fun, you know. Yeah. It's just not fun. Yeah. I'm glad you guys have these now. I'm glad. Do you yeah. want to go outside and wrap yeah. this up? So All right. What's great is these yeah. are going to be in Ocala yep. at the Ocala RV show. So we'll yep. have a, a beast. We'll have a Mystic. We will have and a Hilt. And we will have the first ever Hilt. Yes. In the world, and first off the production line. Now they made a couple prototypes. Yeah. But as of right now, this will be the first one off the line. So we're yeah. very very excited. Yeah. 
he actually called me this morning right and and <laughs> yeah and gave me the news and the opportunity and yeah I, we jumped all over it super excited yeah it won't be necessarily the first to get delivered no but you guys will have the first that folks can come and see it yeah, yeah. And so walk through it so, so we'll, we we'll bring you guys that video we can make a little announcement now yeah um, go go for it so mm -hmm. uh, we'll make a bigger announcement in a couple of days when we get yeah. it yep. but we are going to hold that hilt here for 60 days right and we're going to guarantee everybody has a chance that wants to can yep. come to Gainesville, florida yep see the hilt drive the hilt yep. lay in the bed feel how comfortable it is, inspect it, crawl underneath it, spend as much time with it as you want to where you can see, is this hilt at $450,000 <laughs> the right investment for me? Yeah. And then I think that that being, being having that, that it's guaranteed to be here for 60 days yeah. is really going to give people It's a that. big investment. It's a big investment yes. on our part, but yep, I want to yep, make yep. sure, you know, <laughs> that's a lot of money to spend. So, so we sold one the day they came out. And mm -hmm. the guy's like, what do you think about it? You remember this? Yeah. I was like, dude, it's awesome. I took some pictures. It is it. awesome. He's like, I'm buying it. I'm like, but right. you've never seen it. You're going to spend $450,000 without ever seeing it? He's like, Nick, I'm all in. And also what you have to realize, like I know some people get mad when we make these videos based on prices. But I've spoken, there's folks out there who want to have the money. you got to have this level of money. But also they've put a lot of time and research into what's yes. out there, Nick. Yes. And even they've wasted a lot of money buying other thing. stuff. Yes. We <laughs> so, had an RV traded in yesterday with 600 yeah. miles on it. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't you even know if I, what brand it is. Uh, <laughs> Thor. Oh, really? Six hundred so, miles. I'm shocked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It happens though. It, it happens does. a lot. So I think the folks who look, everything in life is like this. If you know exactly what you want, I was talking to some folks at Tampa like this. They're looking for something like that, mm -hmm. right? And if you know what you want, you've done this. You've had lots of different RVs over the years. Yeah. It's an easy decision to make. So yeah. And Very the cool. name storyteller behind it. Yeah. And all that stuff. They're good. Yeah. Yeah, Ocala RV Show, February 29th, March 3rd, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday. I will be there. Hank will be there. Yeah. This Scott is going to be nuts you know, compared to Scott. Scott Watson will be there a little bit. Yes, Thursday, go small, live large. Yeah. Okay, right. Lots of people from... We'll see Scott there. We'll get to uh, Coachman, harass him. from Midwest. Yep. From Winnipeg, You're going to have the uh, Coachman Beyond rally. We will. Big it's going to be there. Right? Big rally. Lots of Coachman Beyond people camping. Right. We need to have a storyteller rally at some point. At, at some point, it's, it's bound fun. to happen. <laughs> it's bound to happen. New dealership that's coming. Yes. Then that'll be a good place to do that. Yes. I'll let you wrap this one up, Nick. Awesome. Go for it. Check us out. Ocala, February 29th to March 3rd. Thank you for watching. Free delivery anywhere in the nation, wherever you're watching this from, we will deliver it for free to your front door at the same price as anybody else. Mm -hmm. So come go with the best service, the best looking black guy you've ever seen. That's right. And uh, yeah, we'll make it happen. <laughs> Thanks for We're watching. We're out of here. We'll see you. Peace.